The scripture for today is from Exodus chapter 3 verse 12 and it is the Lord speaking to Moses and the Lord says, I will be with you. And the meditation is as follows. When did Moses hear these words? When did he need them most of all and move him to his great and unbearable task? There was a time when he occupied the high position of adopted son of the king, when he considered himself strong and wise and moved in the heat of this physical power to help his people. And what happened? Total failure, total defeat, and Moses had to flee from the angry Pharaoh and his angry compatriots. Then the time came for his patience and contrition. He had to go into the desert and there for 40 years, fulfill the most humble of duties to be a shepherd. There he had to become humble, deny himself and his own power and learn to be nothing. When this lesson was learned, God summoned the prepared instrument to work and bade him to go to free his people. But his self-reliance had vanished and the great chosen one, considering himself to be unworthy and incapable, humbly asks, send another. Then the time came for God to encourage his messenger with the assurance that I will be with you. Do not worry, Moses, about your weakness. Thank God that you have realized and felt it. The Almighty says to you, I will be with you. Let every one of us think about this and derive something from it. I think that many of us know what it is like to willfully embark on a task or enterprise, counting on one's own power and skills and counting on one's own good intentions. Not sent or prepared by God, a person throws himself headlong into one path or another, meets defeat, and often does not understand why. Without God, counting only on oneself, he is forced to feel the consequences of his self-esteem. May God help such a soul humble itself before him, whom it has forgotten. Lay down the weapons it has been using, recognize its impotence, and see the one who has subdued it in order to bring it to true heights and complete submission and dependence on him. Christ said, apart from me you can do nothing, as it says in the Gospel of St. John, and let us reply, yes, amen. Let there come a time for us as well where our only support and strength will be the promise, I will be with you.